What's up, fuggers? Today, we're gonna be playing some Odd Rogue, but before we get into that, if you wanna be a fugger, subscribe to my channel down below and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my new content, which I release every week. It's absolutely free and painless to subscribe, and you can always unsubscribe later, so please, every single one of you counts. Also, make sure you stick around until the end so you can hear my question of the day. All right. Let's get into some games. What's up, fuckers? Okay, we got a warlock. We're gonna go ahead and throw back our passage and our poison. And our courier. We're looking for one drops here. We keep the door, because of course door is really good, and we find patches, and we pull back a bunch of spells, so this is pretty much the worst this could have gone. And we're against the demon seed, so that's awesome. I think we're gonna go ahead and coin a cold blood. Seems pretty good to me, and then we can play Cutlass Courier on three. And of course they pick up touch, because why would they ever not? This is going just great for us. Alright. At least they still have two more steps of the quest to do after this. And of course they have the other touch, right? Touch number two, here we go. No, Reign of Fire, okay, that's... Well, that's significantly less good. Alright, let's go ahead and just play these. This is a pretty good play. We hold the Door of Shadows. Door of Shadows could have been really good, though, with the deck in, now that I think about it. Because it could have been a Cold Blood. That would have been disgusting. Okay, they kill everything but the Roger. That's fine. Nope! They drain soul the Roger, okay. That's fine with us. We're gonna go ahead and door. And we hit strike. Nice. Alright. We're looking pretty good here. We have a deadly poison and a sinister strike in hand, so we've got the damage to get there. As long as something sticks on board, we should be good. And we have a passage for backup, in case that isn't good enough. Reform scheme into, uh, yeah, plague. Yeah. Okay. That is fine, and also a lot worse than the tradable one mana card, and then they tap, so it doesn't even matter. So, let's go. I think we want to. And they concede before they even see it, so it doesn't matter. We get the dub anyway. Alright, we get a druid here. We're gonna go ahead and keep the captain, I think. We throw back the cold blood and keep the deck hand. We pick up a passage. That's going to be much better than a cold blood, so we're happy to see that. And we've got a Renathal draw. And we, of course, draw the patches just before we play the uh, 
deckhand, because why would we not? That's okay, though. We're fine. Probably hero power and remove one of these, so we're not really getting a good captain. Yeah. So we're probably just trying to play another sky pirate and then just, uh, hero power. We have a door of shadows if both of these die. Okay, Prince Renathal is, um, not it, so that's good. We actually get a chance to drop a captain here. That's going to be pretty good for us. Okay. Are you going to end your turn? Hello? There we go. All right. That seems pretty good. Okay, ETC is fine. Oh, Volpera. Great timing. That's pretty insane, actually. That was really good. Really good top deck there. Okay. Well, we took out the ETC pretty easily there. And we got a fillet fighter. Alright, we got them down to 8 HP here, so this is looking pretty great for us. Even if they clear our whole board, we've still got a lot of reach. We've got a Door of Shadows to find two copies of a spell, and we have a Secret Passage. So it's looking pretty good for us here. And they are not clearing anything so far, so it's looking like we're just going to have it. Yup, we got it. Let's go. Not even hard. Alright, we're against a druid here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw back Passage and Sh Sinister Strike. We'll keep the Jolly Roger and Captain. We pick up another Strike, but the Rancher should be good. And Jolly Roger on one, of course, is one of the best one-drops you can play in this deck, so that's good. All right, that Baku pickup is unfortunate, but we're fine as long as it's not Patches. It is not a card, but that's okay. Alright. 
We currently have no minions for the Hawk Strider Rancher, so that's not really doing much. But our captain should be good. It should stop them from hero powering our 1 1s at the very least. And that cold blood pickup is pretty huge. Cold Blood is actually enormous for us. That's going to be a lot of damage. Alright, a summons. I think we're just going to go face and ignore it. That seems like the best choice to me, is to just ignore this for now. Alright, they have Guff, but that's fine. We're just gonna keep on going face. We could pick up a Hawk Strider for the, uh... Filet fighter, so that's really good for us. And actually, I think we do kill the sh selfish shellfish this time. It draws us the two cards, so it seems worth to hit it with our weapon. That just seems like it's probably the play. Okay, scale is definitely a problem for us. But it's not a massive problem. We still have quite a bit of damage from hand here. Alright, we still have a passage too, so it we're pretty close here. We should be able to find lethal off of passage a lot of the time. This game is going on longer than I'd like it to, but I still think we have a shot at this. Okay, what does my opponent do? Solar Eclipse plus armor gain of some kind? Yes, Howl. Right to jail. Right away. Alright. And then B is on the Volpera. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and play the Rancher here. Next turn we can go for a captain or something. Last turn I just didn't want to because it was pretty unlikely we would get lethal. Even if we hit what we needed. Because they just gained 15 armor. It's just so far now. But this next turn we might be able to get there from 17. Scale, okay. All right, scale is fine. And they're taking a really long time on this too. Okay, they finally got it. But that's gonna probably be too little too late. If I am not mistaken. Let me count this up real quick all right there's no captain here if i did hit a captain that would add three and i currently have 11 Never bring a sword to a 
That's fine, I guess. We'll take lethal next turn. Hmm. Yeah, we couldn't really make it work there. We were just a little bit off. Miracle growth is not going to be enough unless they also have the, uh... Oh, they do, the earthen scales. So that's fun. We hit the other passage, so that's really interesting. Alright. And we hit Jolly Roger off of the Cutlass Courier. So we're I guess we're gonna passage and look for a captain. And we do hit the captain. So that's really good for us. Oh, we got it. Oh, I wasn't counting. Oh, let's go. Nice. Easy win. Well, anyway, guys, that was some odd rogue. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my new content, which I release every week. What do you guys think about Odd Rogue? Does Cold Blood do the most, or is this deck toast? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because every single subscriber gets their own clone. That is right, we'll clone you and send you a copy of yourself if you subscribe to my channel, so make sure you subscribe to get an extra year. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Peace.